Hey guys, today we are going to talk about some new information from Wizard of the Coast. We are getting a Commander product as usual in 2017. The Commander product is slightly different from previous Commander products in the fact that we are getting 4, not 5. And the reason we are getting 4 is because the theme is tribal, not necessarily the color themes, the wedges or the you know, dual colors or the enemy colors, the theme will be tribal. So I'm sure some tribes like the goblins are red and black and some tribes like the merfolk are white and blue and occasionally black. So when we talk about tribals, I feel like the three main tribes of Magic the Gathering has always been goblins, elves, merfolk, and then zombies. You might say that wood folk, or you might say that slivers would be interesting. Definitely a value pick there. I would be most excited for merfolk, given the price of some of these merfolk. Uh, Curse Catcher, these uncommon mer merfolk are very pricey, and they do need a reprint. And typically, Commander products have been a very good expected value product and it's guaranteed expected value so you always get your value from there i would also be interested to see if they go with a tribe that is newer and like a warrior tribe or a human tribe where they could support it a little bit more than previously so let's say a tribe that needs support then they could have 56 new cards Overall, they do a fantastic job on Commander product time and time again, so I am very excited to see what they have. Release date is August 25th to celebrate the 25th anniversary. Now, I've been trying to figure out what Axelon is, and the only thing I have found on Google is Axelon is like this YouTuber, not YouTuber, a Facebook account, uh, and the guy's located in Vietnam. But Axeline sounds like it is from Iceland. I'm not positive, but it could also be an Asian theme. I'm, again, unsure, but it will be releasing September 29th, 2017. Definitely a very interesting name. If you guys know what that name means or what it uh, um, it is, the YouTube channel is Music feature, featuring DJ Steve Porter. And other than that, there's really little information on what it is. Oh, actually, I'm looking at grammar of neo armatic the dialect of Jews of Abraham. So apparently it is a word there. Bizarre of magic. Um, hmm. Not really sure what it means, but maybe we are going to... Since we just came from Egypt, maybe we're going to Iceland or Asia. Anyway, we will take a look at the set when it comes up. The 2017 World Championship will be the first major event to feature the new standard and booster draft format. That's kind of cool. I don't really follow the pro circuit that much. It's not that intriguing to me. I don't know that many pro players. I feel like maybe I know one pro player. And when I mean pro, I mean he went to the pro tour. And everyone else, like, I don't... So it's not relevant to my daily life. Overall, pretty cool. I do like to see new sets. And the release date is perfect time. Perfect timing because people will be back to school. And Magic always does better in the fall than it does in the summer. So it is good timing for the set. Next, what is the participation promo for the Nationals? It's an Ink Moth Nexus. So before you guys say, oh, they forgot Ink Moth, they forgot Ink Moth, they never forget anything. They know the prices of these cards. They just save the more expensive cards like Ink Moth for a National promo. That makes a lot of sense to me. And if I were Wizard of the Coast, I, that's exactly what I would do. I would make a list of the top 100 most expensive cards in Modern. And then I would reserve some of them for promos. Then I would put some of them in a modern master set. And then I would reprint some of them like Avon Mind Center in the standard set. They are very, very cognizant of what cards are worth nowadays. I think that mainly comes down from Hasbro and the new CEO. Previously, they didn't really care. 
Now they do care. They make sure that your commander products have good value. They make sure that your national promo is a card that's not reprinted in Modern Masters 2017. And it is actually one of the cards that has gone up in price because it was not reprinted. So Ink, Ink Moth Nexus, absolutely amazing promo and something that will be very, very good in the future. And I don't know if we're going to see it in inter immediate promo or immediate reprint of Ink Moth Nexus. Uh, like Lily, like Snapcaster Mage, it takes about another year. And then we might see it in the Modern Masters or the Eternal Format set for 2018. Anyway, that's it, guys. Leave me a comment below. Bye, guys.